When it comes to the sensory system in children, aspects can be underactive or they can be overactive. And oftentimes they've developed in a way to adapt and compensate for each other. A lot of the time in classroom settings or group settings, what is noticed is actually the overactive part of the sensory system. For example, they get distracted when other people are talking. They can't concentrate when there's too much background noise, etc. When I see someone in my practice who has come because of this, I start looking for the part of the sensory system that is actually underactive, leading to overactivity of other areas. Now it's not always as black and white as this. There are so many nuances when it comes to individuals, plus their nervous system development and their experience of life to date. But if you're only focusing on managing the overactive senses, then you are missing half of the puzzle.